Well, um, reviewing the IATF for conference experience is, is difficult because it was so amazing. Uh, I got to attend so many interesting talks and, and like uh, from the very beginning, the pre-conference event of the Learning Technology Special Interest Group, the topic of feedback was addressed from very different angles and made us reflect a lot and also uh, see how technologies can enhance the feedback process. And we got to see lots of practical ideas and tools. And, and not only that, but, but also we got to network with colleagues from all over the world that are part of the SIG, that share the same interests, are into working in so many different projects and facing similar challenges. Uh, that's, that's also one of the great things about IATFL that is so uh, intercultural, so, so, so varied and rich in that sense. And also meeting the, the committee members with whom we had been in contact for online but hadn't really seen each other face to face, so that was really exciting. Um, apart from the pre-conference event, we had the showcase where there, there was also a lot of um, talks on teaching and learning online and about different tools that, that we can use for that and, and of ongoing discussions like how can we really replicate interaction, communicative language teaching in, in an online environment. Uh, and the rest of the conference, like apart from, from all the learning technology part, was really interesting in, in, in thinking about the future directions of ELT, which is what the, the conference closed up, uh, the closure was about, but that it was present throughout, especially during the last day. Um, the thing of discussing uh, where are we heading in this complex world of abundance of information and technologies? Okay, what, what, how does it affect us and what is our role? The skills that we need to develop in, in students and the kind of new issues that should, we should be addressing in class because of the fast changing times we live in. Lindsay Clatfield delivered a plenary of really interesting debunking myths of technologies like uh, this uh, notion of the digital native that we really need to step away from and also problematizing the discourse that seems to prevail regarding the role of teachers when technologies can take over certain uh, tasks but really so what is our expertise and, and revaluing it so that was really something. Um, well, I'm mentioning lenses, but really there were so many sessions that were so inspiring and thought-provoking. I, I couldn't really name them all. Everything that we still need to be thinking about, and especially pedagogy, driving the decisions regarding technology that, rather than the other way around, and maximizing the use of it, um, but also regarding more broad aspects of our profession. What is our role regarding social justice, equity, global issues. Uh, they're, they're sen th those are certainly discussions that we need to continue having. Being a roving reporter was uh, really enriching because first of all, well, this that I'm doing right now is really stepping away from my comfort zone and that's develop and development itself. I, I had to write about the talks that I attended and workshops. I had to reflect a lot upon it. So I, I really believe that it's a position that, that it's developmental in itself. Uh, a challenging one, at, at least for me, but, but it's really worth it. But there, I also had the opportunity to interview uh, some of the presenters at the PCE and the showcase, and they were so generous sharing their knowledge and their slides, and, and, and it was exciting to, to get to, to ask some further questions regarding what they uh, presented about. Uh, so that was, that was another highlight there. And then, of course, there's a cultural experience. Like this year, it was in Liverpool, the city of the Beatles, to get to be there with, with, with colleagues, some of whom are friends, um, to, to enjoy uh, all the history and culture that the city has. Uh, for me, it was the first time in the UK, so it was, that was really something mind blowing. Well, uh, I have to say that I'm really grateful to the LTSIG for having given me the opportunity to be there because. Uh, 
uh, as I was saying and as a summary I got to attend lots of workshops and and reflect about theory and think of new ideas connect with colleagues it's really a unique experience absolutely worth it uh, extremely recommend anyone who would like to uh, attend IATEFL to, to, to apply for the scholarship and to try and be part of it because it's an experience you won't forget.